Hello and welcome to today's shenanigans. Now today I'm going to set up a, a bunch of these LCD screens and make them so I can mount them to an equipment rack. So we'll see how that goes. Right, now some of you have seen me set these up before. I've gone through how to do it. Um, you might remember the one I set up in the kitchen there. But as it happens, I have a whole bunch of these things sitting around because you know, it's like you get on eBay, you go, oh, that costs nothing, I'll get five of them. And, you know, you've got all these sitting here doing nothing. So, you know, I've got one up here for the power wall in the garage. I've got one of these uh, 40 by 2 character ones. So you've got 20 by 4 or 40 by 2. These are the 20 by 2. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so that um, I've got two of these at the side and the longer one in the middle. So that will be fitted there, all running off a single Raspberry Pi, because we've got enough GPIO pins, and that will then mount in the rack. So, I'll see how we go. Now, as the old saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So I've done a bit of a, um, a rough plan here, and I've just got this set up in the garage here. It's my garage, not Nugget Garage, so, you know, we've got to have a plan. So first of all, I've mapped out the pins that I'll be using on the those LCD screens, okay? And of those, there are seven that need to be controlled, so they have to go to GPI, GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm gonna run three of these screens, so I need 21 GPIO pins, but I've got that on the Raspberry Pi, so that's not gonna be a problem. And I've just done the measurements to where I'm gonna actually drill the holes and mount the, the screens themselves. So that's my base, and that's what I'm gonna try and do now. The first thing I'm going to do is mark the blanking panel where I plan on drilling. So these, this is roughly where the displays are going to be. So that's where I'm going to mark it. I'm actually going to do it on the back so I don't make any mess on the front. And I've got the measurements all over here, so I'm just going to rip into it and see how I go. Okay, so they should line up, and they do. Okay, so I'm going to well, I'm going to drill them later, but I'll do the same for the uh, for the other two, which will go there, according to my super plan on the board. Now everything seems to line up um, pretty good. This is where it's going to be on the other side, of course, in the final rendition of it. But uh, that's looking good. So what I'm going to do now is drill the holes, but. To make sure the drill bit doesn't slide around, I'm going to use, where is it, the punch. Okay, so I'm just going to start, I'm just going to keep these here for a bit of a sanity check, in case I do something stupid. That one's marked there. That's it there. So, it just gives it somewhere to start the drill bit to save it sliding around, that's all. Just give it a bit of extra love. Yeah. They like it hard. All right, so I've, I've put a uh, bit of an indent there where I'm gonna drill. So I'll drill them up now. And we shall see if it works. Right, I'll just start off small. Get over here, out of the way. So, if you noticed, the drill didn't slide around. Like, if I just try to do it anywhere, the drill kind of tries to move. That's just to ensure it stays right where I want it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Drilled from behind, just to uh, set out where it's gonna be. Now, obviously this side's rough because the drill was from behind there. So what I'm gonna do, obviously, check that, which that lines up respectably, hopefully. We'll see. Now I'm gonna get the bolts that I plan on using and drill those holes bigger so that, uh, so that the bolt will go through. And this time I'm gonna drill it from the front so, so the front ends up nice and smooth. Ah! 
See if they line up. Of course they bloody line up. Okay, so, I mean, they're not bolted in, but just for demonstration, that's, that's how it's gonna look, and everything lined up nicely. So the, uh, the drilling part's done. Oh, later on, once I finish the wiring, I'm gonna drill holes in the middle through so the wires can go through from the front to the back. But um, that doesn't have to be anywhere near as accurate, just anywhere in the middle, roughly. So that's how it's gonna be. All right, so now I'll uh, look into the wiring. Okay, now for the actual displays, you can see the amount of cables here, but some of them are common, like the five volts and the zero. So that's gonna be the same for all displays, but the seven data lines have to have unique GPIO pins. Okay, so 21 in total. Now what I've got is the Raspberry Pi here that I'm gonna use, I've got the, uh, the ribbon cable with a connector on here, and I'm just gonna work out which, which cables are what that go to um, which GPIO pins. And for the power, I'm just gonna split them off and go to the three different uh, displays. So I've got, I've got some cable here. I'm gonna solder them to there for three different displays. And uh, it should work. All right, I've laid out the cables for a rough plan here on how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna use red for, for five volts, uh, black and white for ground. Now, I'm using black for the, uh, the power supply ground and white for the other ties because I ran out of black. And the seven different colors for the GPIO pins. Okay, so there's one for each display. So I've got three of each and that should all work well. So now what I'm gonna do is just slowly, I'm gonna work out which one for the GPIO pins I'm gonna connect to this ribbon cable here and solder them up so it's all neat. So over here I've got my um, notes on which colors I'm gonna use for what. So I'm gonna use black for the um, zero volts, uh, red for the five. I'm gonna use the white cables as I said for the other zero volts that aren't the power supply. And the seven GPIOs here are the seven colors as I mentioned. And I've got the three GPIO pins that it's gonna be on the Raspberry Pi, one for each LCD that gets connected. So I'm just gonna map that according to um, the pinouts and solder them onto that ribbon cable and it should go good. Here I'm just putting the five volt cables onto the uh, ribbon cable here and I'll solder that in. Okay, now I finally finished putting all the little uh, colored cables onto the ribbon cable here. Um, it took a while, but it wasn't really hard once I got going, getting the rhythm of it. And, you know, just going by the plan, hopefully it all went well. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them into their three groups and just put a bit of heat shrink around them just, just to group everyone individually sort of thing. So just make it easier to know that if this yellow is part of the first LCD or the second or third. So I'll do that now. Okay, I've just put the first two groups together and uh, I'll just do the last one now. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting them through some heat shrink and uh, once I've got them all in there, I'll just shrink that down. So there I have it. The, uh, the header end up here that'll go into the Raspberry Pi and three groups of GPIO and power outputs here to run the three displays. So what I'll do now is I'll test, I'll test each of these first on this one here that has, this one here that has the header pins on there already, just to verify I've got that right, but I think it all went well. And then what I'll do is I'll solder these through the holes to the um, actual displays that are gonna be on the rack mount. Okay, I've just tested all three groups here and they all work fine, which is, is good. Um, didn't see why they wouldn't, but had to check. So I've just grouped them up with little bits of heat shrink here so you know which ones they are. I'm still on the third one here, just so you can see it working there. But what I'm gonna do now is just put a bit of heat shrink over the whole lot here to tidy this mess up. And then what I'm gonna do is drill the hole in the, uh, the rack unit here for the cables to go through, and then I'll solder them to the actual LCD um, screens over there. So I'll do that now. Okay, I've just trimmed off the excess from the ribbon cable of the pins I don't need. And now I'll put this over the whole lot and hopefully that'll fit in there it could be a bit tight though, but that's all right. 
Let's see how this goes. All of this mess into there. Okay, there's my individual groups visible. So there it is. All right, the three groups for the three displays. Just shrink that down with a heat gun. The big heat gun. There's the finished cable. Nice plug for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Hidden mess, so there is no mess. And then the three marked with heat shrink outputs for the three LCDs. So, tested and working, now it's back to, back to the metal. Start drilling some holes. What I'll do is I'll, I'll do the last one. I'll feed it through once I've soldered these, because once I've soldered that and put that on, that'll give me a bit, a bit more length on the cables here, so, so I can reach those ends nice and nicely. So, start with the first one. Okay, so there's the first one soldered. I'm just gonna pass the wires through the hole here and then bolt it to the back and see how it goes. All right, there we are, that's, that's the first one. I'll plug it in and give it a go. Because why not? There it is. Don't know if you can see that. But it's there. And it works. Of course. So, one down, two to go on the home stretch. And soon I'll have the three. Okay, they're all in and all running. I don't know if you can see that because of the reflections. But uh, if you can, that's just a static display of the Powerwall stuff. I'll just whip up some code to make it actually do something and uh, put it in the rack, but that's, that's pretty much done. The hardware side of it's done. I'll just change the code so all those three are active with the power wall because I haven't got anything else to display yet. But um, I'll just set it up and running, put it in the rack, and that'll be it. Okay, I've just mounted it in the rack just here temporarily to show the concept. And if I start a little demo program, there you can see, I don't know if you can see, I've got these two just doing the same thing, just showing the power wall for now, and just a message in the middle. So there you go, just another random project of mine, and uh, I'll catch you next time for something else random. See ya.